all right guys what what's going on it is the third episode on super not super zero mission uh just metroid zero mission door randomizer by can of worms and i'm starting on the title screen this little uh comical comical thing i want to show off so you know how the demos play uh by itself if you just wait at the title screen long enough well, there's actually a little error. Not error, but there's a little glitch that happens because of the randomizer. I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead to one of the parts. Um, not. Nope. Oh, that's one. Let's see, it actually zaps them to a random door, which is quite funny. And also, the enemy is teleported. Here we should see one, okay. Yeah, there's that. Which is pretty funny. Uh, this one's normal. Let's see if we can find any more. This one's normal as well, so I'm gonna fast forward through this. Yeah. All right, that's that's enough of that. That's just gonna. All right. So in the last video, we left off uh, finding some items. Uh, defeat, defeating a boss. Uh, we got the gravity suit unknown item. Got some supers. A couple pick up, other pickups like missiles and energy tanks. So what we need now is Ice Beam, Ridley to be defeated. And I think Space Jump. No, Plasma Beam, I believe. And while I'm at while I'm at the ship, I'm gonna go ahead and refill all my stuff. Some other one supers. No, I'm not gonna save. I just saved. So what we need to do is pretty much get a new room so we can do all those things. I still can't go that way. So in my last video, I kind of realized how overbearingly loud that was smart. How overbearingly loud Zero Mission's music was compared to my actual voice. And that's because of a couple of reasons. One, it's just because Zero Mission soundtrack is really loud. And then two, um, I don't have, I can't use my proper mic. So I actually have a headset, but I can't use it because my PC doesn't have a mic jack. So I have to use the built-in mic, which pretty much captures every noise, including the computer's um, noise. So it's also capturing computer audio, which kind of amplified it, I guess. Um, so what I did to fix that is I just turned my computer audio down a bunch, and also turned it down on my recording software so and I did a test video about a 20 second test video to see if it was any better and uh, I think it approved so and all I did was come back to the same spot I never went through this door though oh I thought it connected I was like wait that's dang it I need to get good at that so we got another save. What items? No. There's apparently some items up there that I haven't gotten. Oh, that's right. That's the... That one missile I could actually got the... I think. We're just getting the gauntlet of safe rooms. Safe rooms? I mean, not safe rooms. Uh... So yeah, we're just... Now we're just pretty much on a quest for items. Press for items in Ridley, because I can actually fight Ridley now. I'm gonna go through over here for once. And that didn't accomplish much. That was interesting. I uh, can't win with that, can I? Let's see, some side hoppers. Yeah, 
in this room again. And I'll just get hit by those because shooting them isn't necessary. Uh, this is probably my least favorite room since I can't actually do anything in it. Well, there's a lot of rooms I can't actually do anything in, but there's only one other door. And that's the door I came out of, because you can't actually go up the elevator, which is... I can understand why, but still, it doesn't really make much sense to me. Like, if you can't even go up the elevator and can only just leave the door, leave the same way you came in, you might as well just completely take out the room. I don't know, I guess just to add variety, but that's my opinion. This room again. So, eventually, once we find Ridley and all that nice stuff, we'll just pretty much be playing normal Zero Mission. Nah, might as well just go through this door. So, it'll be pretty straightforward once we actually get to Mother Brain. <sighs> Taunts me by putting in front of Ice Beam. But not actually giving me ice beam. An item room that isn't actually a new one. And this door again. I might as well just run over there. I could have used this thing up top, the speed booster thing, but I don't feel like. It. What? That shouldn't have hit me. Here, use it now. Look at that skill. I take that back. I'm supposed to do a spin jump there, not a shine spark. New room? Nope, this room always tricks me. It's really unfortunate that those little bugs. I'm not sure what their names are, but I, I, I like to call them mites, because it just kind of sounds like what they're, the noise they're making. Because once I, when I was a little kid, when I played this game, like when I was like uh, five or six, probably even less younger than that, less younger, that's good grammar. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I'd call them mites, because, I don't know, I guess they remind me of mites. I don't even know what a mite is. Termite, maybe. Apparently, I haven't been to this door, so I'll go here. And still no thing. Not a thing. Landing site seems to be a popular room right now. And so do save rooms. Um. I haven't been to the bottom, so I'll go down to the bottom. I don't think I've been through that door either. Watch this take me to Ridley. Ah, oh, got my hopes up. I actually kind of thought it would. That's just gonna take me to Creed. Heated room. Long beam room. Okay, lock me out. Thanks. So I eventually planned a sort of speedrun Zero Mission. Like, Zero Mission's the only game I've can actually do the route perfectly on, it's just a matter of room movement improvement, and by that I mean like major improvement, because the route takes about 20 something minutes to finish, if you do it right, and I do the route perfectly, I can do all the moves required, um, like the mall, mall skip and all that, Wait, if you don't know what that boss that is, that's like the acid worm. Yeah, I can do those uh, techniques pretty well. Uh, it's just a matter of room movement. And my current best or something is like 44 minutes, which is kind of atrocious. But in my defense, I only went through this that route twice, so I don't have don't actually that much practice on it. 
but uh, once I have time, uh, or once I stop being lazy, I could probably just focus on it. Actually, like, make splits and all that. And he ruined my shine spark. And eventually, actually be a decent speedrunner at this, because Zero Mission is probably the game I know the best since I've pl played it the longest. Well, I wouldn't say played the longest. I think I've played Prime the longest. Um, play time wise. Uh, actually, like, knowing the game, I guess. Uh, I knew this game first. This is the game that actually got me into Metroid. So it was this game, then Prime, so. But I actually didn't own this game. It was my dad's friends, I think, at one point. And then, uh, I think I took it because he gave it to me or something like that. I don't remember. And I played it on the Game Boy Advance. Um. And, uh, I don't think I ever actually ended up beating it, but I thought it was really good. And in that, with that in mind, um. I, what am I trying to say? Right, right, about Prime, that's what I was. Uh, so yeah, I was playing Zero Mission. Um, pretty much that was the only Metroid game I was playing, but I didn't know there were other Metroid games. I thought that was just a one thing. But again, I was kind of young, so I don't even remember thinking, hey, there may be a sequel. Um, but I saw... A picture of Samus on a game case and I was like dude I need that I'm pretty sure it was uh yeah it was Metroid Prime because uh, it just came out at that time and I was like dude I want that but because it has Samus and I, thought, I, I actually thought it was zero mission just on the GameCube because I was kind of stupid being a little kid and all uh, and so I got two copies of it actually for my birthday that year, along with the GameCube. And then I played it, and I, I was like, "What the heck? This, this is not Zero Mission." But it, I gotta admit, it's probably my favorite, pro my favorite Metroid game. Uh, aside from this, this one kind of has sentimental value from being my first Metroid game. But like Prime, this is the soundtrack. And I don't know, just the story, I guess. Whether you consider it canon or not, I like to consider it canon, but I don't know. <clears throat> I thought it was really uh, immersive and deep. And also, when I first got it, I literally spent like 20. I had a turbo controller at the time, and I didn't know what that meant. So I always just had turbo on because I thought it just made you better. And so there's one segment at, towards the very beginning of the game where you it was trying to show you how to use charge beam. And my beam wouldn't charge because I had turbo on. So I just kept rapidly firing the power beam and I was like, okay, what am I supposed to do here? And my friends were watching me and they were just like, okay, this game is no. And then uh, when the party was actually over, I went back to it. And I was like, there's got to be some way. And then I was using a different controller at the time and it worked. And I was like, what the heck? So then I, that's when I realized what Turbo was for. So, yeah, a little story on my stupidity as well as what got me into Metroid. What got me into Metroid hacking in general, that. Ah, crap. What got me into Metroid hacking was um, actually Metroid MST's videos or Shy Guy Express, however you refer to them. I just. Uh, well, it's not what got me into hacking in general. Got, that's what got me into Super Metroid hacking because I didn't know there's so much variety and so many Super Metroid hacks. I pretty much thought it was just redesign and errors. And, uh, phase on hack. Those are the only ones I remember seeing until I found the site because of, uh, Metroid MST. But what got me into hacking was, uh, uh, when I, once I found emulators, I found, uh, Zero Mission, the... VBA emulator, which is what I'm running now, and I uh, also found a Zero Mission hacking utility, so I was like, alright, I'm going to use this, and that's pretty much what got me into hacking, so, 
Hopefully I didn't bore you with that story or lose you. Just give you a little backstory. Give y'all something to listen to. And it's taken me that room so many times. We are really not getting anywhere new. I hope we get some progress in this video. It's gonna be unfortunate if it's literally just no progress. And we just warp to the same room three times. That's nice. Well, not really. It's just a door warp glitch. That's that can happen like for minutes at a time. I've heard cases where it's happened to people for like five something minutes without stopping. Um, I'm not sure why it causes that. I think in the very first version that happened. Oh my gosh! Wait. That sucks. I could get up there if I was TA TASing, but I'm not. Or am I? Nah, if I was TASing and I was this bad, something would be wrong. Hey, it's giving me another chance. Oh gosh. That is really. There's just no words. Wait a second. If this takes me to that same room again. Oh, okay. I, I thought for a second, wait, maybe they are linked up on a certain one. What the heck? Ah. No item rooms, no boss. Oh, come on, really? That beam should have reached the door. Uh. Again, nothing. Ah, I don't know what I was doing right there. I'm just gonna keep entering the same door. I'm not really getting anywhere. Which is definitely gotta be fun for y'all to watch just me entering the same door over and over. But, it's whatever. If we make progress doing it, I'll accept it. Pretty sure that's a speed booster. Right, I forgot that one always connects up. More item rooms, yay. Bro, give me a new room. You've made no progress so far. Come on. feeling it's just gonna keep taking me to the same rooms. Wait a second. I have an idea. Maybe a bad idea and it's probably not very good. <coughs> I'll have to wait and see until I get to a certain room though before I can test it. Hi, so repetitive. What is this? Ridley. Close to what I need. Now just take me to Ridley's hideout, please. 
Well, that whole place is his hideout, but take me to his bathroom. Well, that was... What the heck? I completely lost my... What is this? Like I've been everywhere in Nor in Norfair. I've been everywhere in Ridley except his room. <coughs> Excuse me. And the one before that. And once again this room. Ah. Come on. Or just give me an ice beam so I can at least go to Metroid room. Come on. Either one of those will do. We on. It's in a really uncomfortable position. even gotta say. So it seems like we're just getting a repeat of the same rooms. Uh, this one I haven't seen, this video at least. Um, this one we saw at the beginning. I, I don't even remember what these say. This is the Torian elevator, I believe. Not elevator, save. Yeah, let's get all these guys and then jump. Well, we aren't finding any luck so far. Nothing new. Not even a pickup, if I recall correctly. Not even a pickup. Which is unfortunate and also quite boring. Not sure what save room. Wait, I think that was the ice. Post ice beam saver. No. Hey, okay, okay. I freaking missed it. Wow. If I don't get it this time, I'm, I'm just... Yes. Finally, I'm not bad. Watch this door take me to Ridley now. Well, it didn't, but... A guy can dream. I wonder if there's like a certain criteria, more criteria you have to meet or something to go to Ridley. Or to get new items, like I'm not sure if he forgot to add the ice beam room or something in. I doubt that, but I mean, I haven't even seen ice beam room once. Well, it's a lot of rooms we haven't seen so far, but... <sighs> and more heat. And we're back in the speed booster room. And now we're out of speed booster room. Um. Oh, this is above Ridley, but not actually. And it takes me to speed booster again. Like, come on, I don't. I, I have speed booster already. This is a Norfair. Jeez, dude. Unlike new room. You know, it's just like polite suggestion. Wait. Nah, it's not gonna do anything. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm having some throat trouble right now. 
should probably drink some water to prevent that, but you know. And we're in speed booster room again. And we're already quite getting up there on time, even though we haven't made any progress. Uh, I haven't seen this room in a while. At least something new. Uh, let's go through this door. Really keeps giving me this room. Mm, more stuff that I've been to. More stuff that I've been to. Yet more that I've been to. Uh, I feel like taking other doors really would help, but at the same time, I don't. Oh, that was smart of me. Yeah, really. Well, no one said a randomizer would be easy. That'd actually be kind of cool if it took me to the mothership rooms before I actually beat Mother Brain. That would add, I don't know, I feel like that would add quite a bit of challenge. Right now, this isn't really challenging, it's more annoying than anything. Because I can pretty much tank everything at this point. I'm just searching for three specific rooms Ridley, Ice Beam, and uh, the Plasma Unknown Island. That is what it is, right? Um, where's the beams? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for Plasma. So we still need that. And I think it just gave me this room literally not even. I'd love to see some variation. Hey, actually, whoa. Did I not get this E tank? Oh, I did. Did I just crumble jump? I'm pretty sure it's like a frame perfect thing. I'm gonna try that again. Pretty sure I just crumble jumped. Can't, of course, can't do it again though. Hey, I did it again. What do you know? <sighs> so you can crumble jump. I didn't actually know that was possible. Wait, yeah, I did. I knew it was possible in TAS, so. That's pretty sure I've seen a TAS where I... I'm actually not sure how I went through that door and how I actually kept the shine spot. Because that was a morph door and I was standing up. It's interesting. Ugh. At least we can kill innocent enemies on the way. That's one thing I wonder, like... Some must feel any, like... Sorrow for her murdering these animals. Like, some of them, they're not even... Trying to kill Samus, they're just protecting themselves, and then she just slaughters them. Like some, she's just going into their natural habitat and killing them, and then for de defending themselves, or just for naturally being harmful. Like these, they kind of want to kill her, but she can just be like, "Oh, it's it's just mad that I'm in its territory. Let me get out of here," just like that. But I guess you got to do what you got to do, and slaughtering innocent alien creatures is always fun. So. I guess it has that as well. Like, see those googly eye creatures? Like, what threat do they oppose? Just jump over them. It'd be fine. I don't know. Side hoppers, I don't know. They, they, they deserve to die. 
just because they're weak in this game. Not even challenge. An elevator room. Okay, this is where I was looking for. Is this boss still alive? You know what? Just because we haven't done anything in this video, we're actually gonna fight this boss. So, prepare to watch this epic fiasco. So, I have no ice beam. And. This is actually going a lot better than my last attempt on my practice. Not practice, but when I my video failed for the first time. My very first uh, failed recording. I fought this boss quite early. And I was having the most difficult time. Wow. This is actually almost flawless. Wow. I'm kind of impressed, actually. <laughs> wow. That's, that's nice. And I can't get back up, right? No. Well, that thing can keep hitting me. Does this connect back up? No, it doesn't. I kind of hoped defeating that thing would take me to Ridley. That was my idea earlier. But, I guess that wasn't... Uh, wasn't actually the criteria I needed. Maybe I just literally needed to get into the room just by luck. Which, so far, I'm not having any of that. I'm probably actually going to end the video soon. It's getting quite long. I'll probably end it that couple minutes. Maybe shorter than that. Unless we find Ridley. But at least we defeated a boss in this video and got one pickup. No, two. Because we got an energy tank. So, I guess this, this video isn't a total loss. And I'll go ahead and probably read his the form thread on this to make sure there's not any something I'm missing to that gets me to his room. Like ice beam or something, that would be stupid. So I'll go ahead and end it at the next save. Because I want to be consistent, I'm probably just going to end all the videos in this series in a save. Let's see another. Wow, I get taunted again. Puts me right before laser. So, uh, and then it doesn't take me to Ridley. I'm, I'm disappointed. But I got to refill on my supers, so that's a plus. Oh look, now I can wall jump up it once the missile is in there. All right, let's see. So that's it. Uh, I don't know why I'm running still. So that's that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, and we'll see you for the next episode. Hopefully, I find Ridley and Ice Beam and Plasma Beam.